Okay, I'm going to show you how to get started to kind of streamlining your gradebook here. I'm going to start out by looking at my columns, and I see a few that I really don't need this information. I can get my username under Users in the Control Panel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the chevron next to that one and hide this as an administrative type of column. I'm going to go ahead and hide it, and I don't need the availability. I'm going to hide that one too. So there's two columns less I have to scroll through. And then I'm going to change, I have two columns that are frozen here where uh, the columns can then go back under, back and forth under them like an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I want to freeze my info column. So to do that I have to go up to manage and then column organization. And you notice it says everything above this bar is frozen column drag and drop. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to put my cursor when it turns to a four-headed arrow on top of the other four-headed arrow, I'm going to hold my left mouse down and I'm going to drag it up carefully and I'm going to drop it right under last access. Okay, so I've drug it up there and dropped it under there. Now make sure when you make changes in this area, make sure that you go ahead and submit them. otherwise it won't take your changes. So now you see I have three columns that are frozen. So you can customize this however you want. I'm also going to show you how to do a manual column, like this is a manual column. So I would go up to create column. Let's call this one attendance. And we're not going to have scores or letter grades for an attendance. This is just a text column and that's what my inf information column is. And my final grade column is also made with text. So keep that in mind. You have to put a point value even if there's no points and this is no points. So I'm going to put a zero in there. Uh, include this in the grade center calculations. No. Show this to the students. Yes. Um, averages and medians. No. And then I would submit. Now when you create a new column, it usually puts it down at the very end, and there it is, but I want it to be at the beginning, I want it to be up here next to info. So again, to move it, I can't just drag and drop it here, I have to go back up to the manage and column organization, and then I would go down to the bottom here where I have the attendance, grab that again, just like I did for the intro and pull it up uh, and just keep holding your mouse down and dragging and I'm going to put it right above the introduction that's where I want it placed now don't forget again I gotta have to go up here and submit it so that my changes take if I don't my changes won't take in here and it's not showing so I'm going to do it one more time in case I miss something and let's see it didn't go up there. We get a little stinker. Go down and get it again. Nope, I did. Okay, it's up there. There it is. Okay, quirky with Blackboard. Let's go down and submit one more time. Okay, maybe I'm not scrolled right. Yeah, I gotta scroll this way. My fault. Okay, there it is. So now I have my attendance column in there. Um, and I could then just click into it because I've made it text and I could put a, a date in there. And, uh, oops, I've got to click into it, and maybe they were gone also on 10-5, so I hit enter, and now I've got the dates that they missed for that month in there, so you can see how easy that was. One more thing I wanted to show you here, if you have a weighted column, now this one, it will let you delete it. I don't use a weighted column, but if you do, you know, that's fine. So I want to get rid of that extra column. So this one I am going to delete. And if I want it back, I can go back up to calculated columns. Now I keep my total column, but if I wanted to go back to the weighted column, I can go and create another one again. So that kind of gives you an idea how to work with a manual column, how to kind of line up your grade book. If you happen to be teaching um, a 26 week course. I also put in a, a column like this and put my start and end dates um, because they do have different start and end dates for different students so that's another way you can keep that. Again you don't get a lot of information in there but it did let you put a little bit in. So okay thank you.